The accused ringleader behind a $400,000 GoFundMe scheme learned his fate today. And Chris, he had a lot to say after he was sentenced. That's right, Shana. The federal judge called it an evil scheme before sentencing the ringleader of that infamous GoFundMe scam to more than two years in federal prison. I'm a totally different person than I used to be. I, you know, I was never perfect. I'm still not perfect, but you know, I'm trying. Claiming to be a changed man, Mark D'Amico leaving federal court after being sentenced to 27 months in prison. He's the ringleader behind the fake feel-good story about helping a homeless man with his then-girlfriend. 14,000 people from across the world donated more than $400,000. But prosecutors say the trio spent the money on luxury vacations and a car until they got caught. Homeless man Johnny Bobbitt and Kate McClure both pled guilty to fraud and money laundering. They are both awaiting sentencing. Anything you want to say to Johnny Bobbitt? Not really. I hope he's doing okay. I hope he's clean. I mean, I don't, I don't have any ill will towards any of them. Disappointed in the verdict, D'Amico's attorney thinks the judge was trying to send a message. 14,000 donors. Uh, I think that was really the driving force behind his, his determination in 27 months being appropriate. Listen, I'm not here saying that I didn't do anything wrong. I definitely did. Um, it's just the, the twists and the turns of the story aren't exactly 100% correct. And, you know, but that's not, you know, what people think about me really isn't my worry at this point. Now, the judge in the case also ordered all three defendants in this case to pay restitution to the tune of $400,000 back to GoFundMe at $125 a month. D'Amico is scheduled to start serving his sentence in the next 60 days. Shana. All right. Thanks, Chris.